Welcome back everyone. This is Brian with Faith on Fire. And in today's video, I'm going to talk, oops, I forgot to put it up. Let's do it. I'm going to talk about this conference and a video I did about it. Well, I'm actually, I'm not going to talk about this conference. I'm going to talk about this conference another time. But in this video, I'm here to tell you about a video related to this conference I did 10 days ago. And only after two days that it was on YouTube, I decided to take it down. And in today's video, I'm just going to tell you why I did that. Now, first, let me begin with that. I don't want to put out incorrect information ever. So it needs to be addressed if that happens. And that's part of what happened here. And as you can see from the flyer I was reporting on, now this is a conference coming to an area near me in the Orlando area. And I was talking about this. The main point of it really wasn't the conference so as much as it was a John MacArthur sermon from 2019. But I can talk about that in another video again another time. Now in this conference, as I was reporting on it, as you can see, it states that this is a conference for families. But more specifically, as you see here, it's a family integrated conference for families. Now, some of you might know exactly what that means. Family integrated is church lingo for the family stays together. They don't split up and go in different directions. Kids don't go off into classrooms to learn at their level, but separate from their parents. You know, the husband isn't going off to be with the men to learn separately from the wives and wives off with the, the women. That's just the opposite of family integrated. So I reported on this and indicated that three these three speakers, including Susan Heck, would be speaking to a family integrated audience. Well, that turns to be, turns out to be wrong. And Susan emailed me and said, no, I'm not going to be speaking to the family integrated audience. I will be speaking to women exclusively. That's all I ever do. And so with that, I quickly made the decision to take the video down. So I'm not letting incorrect information get out. And I can redo the main points of the video about John MacArthur, his sermon about men in the Calvinist movement who partner with women who clearly do preach in churches, regardless of the audience and so forth. And we can readdress this without the distraction of anything that was misunderstood about what was reported on their flyer. And with that, I just wanted to do that quickly. I've been away from YouTube for about a, uh, ever since that video went up about 10 days because of my schedule and some personal obligations and some family travel and I knew when I put that video out that it's going to be at least a week or a little bit more before I get to get back on YouTube so not the most ideal time to have something interesting happen that you don't expect with your YouTube channel but nevertheless it is what it is and so I'm glad I'm here to address it and tell everyone really what happened and that uh, there's going to be more on this I'm going to be sharing but also some other really good videos I got one coming up on unconditional election and another one on limited atonement, dedicated to that. And in both cases, I think that's going to be some unique aspects brought to light about both of those doctrines coming from the perspective of Calvinists that in itself, they don't realize they're actually debunking their own doctrine. So that one's going to be good. And so with that, with that one, it's going to be two videos. But anyway, they're going to be good. Anyway, thanks you, thank you so much, everyone who supports this channel by leaving, you know, clicking the like button and leaving uh, encouraging words in the comments. It's very helpful, and it uh, really encouraged me to keep up the good fight. So thank you again very much. God bless you all, and may the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you all now and forever. Amen. Bye-bye.